In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to get the MIDI generated by a plugin, such as a chord generator or whatever, into the piano roll as actual notes. If this is your first time here and you want to learn all about FL Studio and music production in general, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. In previous versions of FL Studio, extracting the MIDI generated by a plugin required tedious workarounds. However, recently they implemented a new feature that simplifies this process tremendously. Here we have a plugin called Cthulhu, which will generate or suggest chords for you. You simply press a single note and it will output a chord based on that note. Many producers use this, and it's probably especially useful for beginners and anyone who's not great at music theory. It's very easy to set up. First, load your MIDI generator, in this case, Cthulhu. It will only generate MIDI, so you'll need another plugin to generate the actual sound. You can use any VST you want. I'll use this one. Go to the plugin generating the MIDI and then open the wrapper settings. Find the MIDI output and give it a value. Let's set it to 1, for example. Next, open the wrapper settings of the receiving plugin. Here, you'll want to set the same number for the MIDI input. The output will now be sent from the chord generator to this plugin. Now that everything is set up, we can disable the arpeggiator function and set a chord preset. That should do it. If I press a note on my keyboard now, it will come out as a chord based on that note. You can also draw single notes in the piano roll, and it will turn it into chords. Awesome! It will only show a single note in the piano roll, though, and in order to get the actual MIDI generated by the chord generator into the piano roll, you'll have to use the new Burn MIDI function. To do that, right-click here and select Burn to MIDI. Select New Pattern, unless you want to overwrite the existing one. The MIDI generated by the plugin will appear in the piano roll. You can now copy the notes onto your main VST instead and remove the generator if you like. That's it! Much simpler than before. The procedure shown here will be the same for all plugins that generate MIDI, such as Complete Control and so on. By the way, if you struggle with chords, then I can definitely recommend Cthulhu. You can find the link to it in the description below. I'd like to thank our Patreons for their ongoing support, and as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like us to make, or if you have a question, just let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.